You want to go any further into this all-star voting nonsense that we see right here? Yeah, we got to vote, man. We, we just got to vote. I, I guess people are trying to figure out why we, we come in so low on the returns. I don't know. Like, is it more that we should be doing? Voting every day is the only thing I could suggest. But you know, to me, man, for it, it's just crazy that I see, and obviously this is uh, was it? This was posted yesterday. Mm-hmm. But how is Trey Young on a losing team, man, above Donovan Mitchell, Tyrese Maxey, Jalen Brunson? How does that even make sense? Yeah. How does that how does that even make sense? It's cra- and the, and the Hawks have some of the most fair weather fans, but they you don't know, even have a fan base, bro. They don't even have a fan base, but again, is it is it more so Gen Z voting for their favorite players, man? Is it more so Gen Z just voting for their favorite players? Like that's how I see Trey Young getting in, not necessarily because Atlanta Hawks fans are driving the vote, but because Trey Young being a uh, like I think his celebrity because of you know the rivalry at the Knicks and how he plays and you know his bootleg style of play like he he's he's more po- let's be real Trey Young's more popular than Brunson can we can we admit that yeah I could I could agree that, with that that's what I mean especially with the younger kids because they like sure. his play style and then yeah, and then to play like him right I, I, I see it right and then the media hyped him up with all the with the Nick rivalry and the playoffs and the side talk stuff and the F Trey Young like that really lifted up his his brand so I think that plays into it like these guys like Julius and Jalen they don't have that popularity with the younger fans I think that's part of it I think that's part of it what do you think. Ah, that's it. That's disgusting, man, because I know there's some true NBA fans out there that watch all around the league. Yeah. And if they're watching it, they know that Mitchell, Maxi, Brunson, way better than Trey Young, okay? And I'm sure if it came down to coaches voting and Trey Young's on the starting, I mean, look, he didn't make even make Team USA, man. Right. I mean, you can even listen to anybody that talks about Brunson, how he's coachable, guy's a leader, all these type of things. I mean, the Hawks have been in disarray after their one Eastern Conference appearance. Yes, they've made the playoffs. They're not that good, man. He hasn't led them to do much. You talk about Brunson joining this team last year. They get to the yeah. second round. He drops a 40-piece in, in a game that could potentially extend that series against the Miami Heat. But yet, we're talking about Trey Young, who hasn't done anything against the Eastern Conference Finals. And you could even look back at, yes, they lost to the Bucks, But before that, should they even made it because Ben Simmons just choked? Yeah. In those final seconds of a game, like that's what we're looking at here. I don't think how he should be that high on this. Like, but I think it just comes down to like we're a big fan base. We just gotta be active, man. We're allowed yeah. in other places, and for that's a fan fair. base, because I think we give Trey Young too much attention, even in this fan base, to go say f Trey Young too so often. Like if you're giving that energy, go give that energy in the polls, man. If you feel that way about him, help our guy who's been yeah. hooping get above him in the standings, man. And then for Julius. Come yeah, on, man. Kyle Kuzma. Right, but, 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 but Kuzma? see, but th- but see, that's prime example of popularity, bro. Think about who are the guys that you see when you're scrolling through your, your socials, right? It's Kuzma with what what outfit does he have on? Is it the drip, right? It's Trey Young pulling up from half court, like that's popular. The, the Kuzma thing is strictly popularity, bro. It's strictly so that's strange. Gen Z voting because they like those players like bro you'd be surprised how much i would think on youtube i think jordan Poole and kuzma get more searches than jalen brunson probably probably jordan Poole, you'd be surprised bro like when i went to when we went to summer league jordan Poole, i would not be surprised yeah i'm not even really surprised by kyle kuzma yeah when when we went to summer league and and i interviewed both of them at the at their press conference and i put that video up on the nba report those mm-hmm. two shorts picked up steam so fast. And when you look at the analytics, the search results is like Jordan Poole, Kyle. Huh? <laughs> Jordan Poole, like people search those guys, right? You know, Kuzma, which one Which one of them messed with Kardashians? Like all of that plays into it, especially with the younger audience. I think, you know, somebody in the chat made a point where they were saying like, you know, OG Knicks fans who are older, they're not doing, they're not voting. You know what I mean? They don't even know where to vote, probably. 
Wow, that's insulting, man. I'm just, no, no, I'm just saying, well, bro, I'm old, so I'll be insulting myself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm old. And so, you know, back in my day, we used to have the paper ballots. You used to go to Mickey oh D's. Oh, my back, God. Yeah, yeah. Back in my yeah, let day. me tell you a little story. Back in my oh time. Oh, my. Tell me, yes, yeah. tell, tell me how you used to walk 20 yes. miles to school in the, in will, the snow uphill. I will tell you what I used to do. Back when I used to eat those things, I used to go to McDonald's, right? You used to get your, you used to get your Dream Team collectibles, Okay. But back in the day when McDonald's and Dream Team and the NBA partnered, mm. boy, that Dream Team merch was fire, bro. They had the, the Tyvek jackets, the cups with the team on it, fire. Right? And then you would get your all-star ballot. And you put your all-star ballot, you, you fill it out, you put it in the mailbox, boom, boom, boom. It's a, it's a different time, bro. It's a different time. Like, the old heads are just not, not doing that. Like, I would love to see the, the age demographic of the voters. I think it skews probably, you know, 23 or less for the most part. Was that around the time that you were taking wooden nickels too? <laughs> yeah, that was back at back in the time you could get a Big Mac for like two dollars. Oh, you know, my goodness now it's two fifty, man. Things have changed. Inflation, man. <laughs> sure, you're using the rabbit ears too. You're just like, oh man, can't get the signal going. <laughs> Danny Martinez, I know CP knew about the Dream Team Cups. You're damn right. I had those. I had the Flintstone joints. Like, back in the day, McDonald's did some ill collabs back in the day. The Dream mm-hmm. Team joints were fire. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so back in my day, they were paper ballots that you had to put in the mail. Now, now they're doing three for one, two for one, this, that, and the third on online. You know, we, we just got to figure it out, man. Um... For anybody that has suggestions, how do we use this platform to get our guys to Indy? What do we need to do? What are the what do we need to do? I think we gotta go marching down to the NBA offices in New York City <laughs> and tell to make it a more diverse voting. <laughs> yeah. Gotta figure it out. Experience. Man. Yeah. Clearly you just want to go back to Mickey D's and go vote. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Uh, Okay, so here we go. You go to NBA.com. Let's get this out the way first. Go to NBA.com, and here it is. Here's the setup. East. East backcourt. Oh, Trey Young, skip. Mitchell, skip. This is is what you got to do when you get on the website, and this is what you got to say when you go through across these guys. Trey Young, skip. Mitchell, skip. Maxie, skip. Brunson, (laughs) here we go. Vote. You click on vote. There's one guard. I'm going to put in Brunson, and I'm going to vote for Terry Rozier. No, just kidding. No, I'm not voting for him either. Uh, who else are we going to vote in here? Sh- of all the names you can throw out there, Terry Rozier. Yeah. Are you going to get behind that? Derek White should be an all-star. Uh... You know what? I am. Mm. I am. I'm going to vote for White here. I'm going to vote for White. Uh, I like his game, man. Uh, I like White's game. So uh, I'm going to give White a vote here. And then on the left side, Embiid, skip. Giannis, skip. Tatum, skip. Julius, Randall. Get him in there. All right? Now, who else am I getting in there? Oh, you know who else I'm going to get in there? You know, I heart? No. We're still working on the front court here. He goes by the name of formerly named Broadway Barrett. He's oh. back to the Maple Mamba. I'm going with RJ. <laughs> Not OG Ananobi? I just voted for OG too. So they're the, <laughs> they're the, there's my five. There's my five on a Friday night. Jalen Brunson, Derek White, Julius Randle, RJ Barrett, and OG and oh, wait, you know what you could do instead? What? Before you hit that submit button. Yep. You could change that selection from Derek White to Emmanuel quickly. I was. Uh, you know what? That's what I'm going to do. How do. How do you change this now? Uh, how do you change? <laughs> this is the thing, man. This thing is not, uh, not too user-friendly here. How do I get this guy out? Okay, hit the X. Back to the plus. Where's my guy quick? We're getting quick in there. Boom. We got Jalen, Julius, RJ, Quick, and OG getting in there. 